Uh, welcome back to Tūranga FM. Uh, today the film What We Do in the Shadows opens up uh, throughout o- Aotearoa and also at the Odeon Picture Theatre right here in Tūranga Nui Akiwa. I, am, uh, I have the pleasure to uh, welcome on the phone uh, one of the stars of the film What We Do in the Shadows, uh, Viago. Tēnā koe, Viago. Uh, hello, uh, tēnā koe to all of you. Nice to meet you. And I understand uh, that you are a vampire. Uh, that is correct. Yes, I am a vampire based here in Wellington. So uh, what would you say to encourage people to watch your film that's opening up here in Tūranga Nui Aki, or what we do in the shadows? Um, well, I think that, uh, you know, it's a um, good opportunity for you to see uh, just what our lives are like and... Uh, you know, down here, or, you know, with our own lives, I like down here in the Wellington region. And, um, yeah, it's um, an expose on the vampire community. And, uh, you know, it follows us around, uh, you know, when we go hunting for victims and um, when we try and hypnotize people and uh, as we try to fit into New Zealand society. And... Uh I know that you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that you know um, a lot of vampires. Do you, are there any um, vampire groups that are that belong here in Gizzy? Oh yeah, there's um, yeah, the Bloodsuckers. That's a vampire gang. Have you heard of them? Oh no, I can't they, say. Uh, no, they're situated in uh, around Gizzy, and um, they're, they're, they're um, led by a vampire called Izzy. Uh, Izzy's Izzy from Gizzy. And uh, there's, uh, I mean, there's, a, you know, there's, there's quite a few small little vampire communities around, uh, around New Zealand. You won't find too many around uh, Gisborne because, um, you know, it's, uh, they have a lot of sunlight accidents because, you know, there's a lot of sunlight there. And uh, Wellington is kind of perfect for us because it's cold and wet and always raining and there's never any sunlight. So it's a sort of perfect little place. You know, perfect conditions for vampires. Whereas Gisborne, especially in summer, you can imagine there's quite a few accidental vampire deaths. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of these uh, films uh, which depict uh, vampires um, uh, called the Twilight series. Is, is that a, I don't know if you've seen them or not, but if you have, are they an um, uh, exact uh, representation of a vampire? No, okay, so those films, Twilight, okay, very, very wrong. They give a very incorrect impression, and uh, and as a result, there have been a few vampire deaths when they watch that movie and they think that they can go into the sunlight and sparkle, but it's not the case. They go outside and then they die. So, Twilight is bullshit. Mm. So, any any other misconceptions regarding uh, uh, your your race of vampires? Well, we. Uh, it, yeah, you know, we're not allergic to garlic. We just don't like garlic food. We just don't. It's just we just don't like the taste of it, or the smell of it. It doesn't hurt us. It's just I'm sure you know we just have an allergy to garlic. It's mm. like some people have an allergy to dairy. Well, it's the same with us for garlic. Mm. So you know, unfortunately, we can't eat uh, Italian food, and um, that's about it. It's not a big deal. And uh, is becoming a vampire a very good uh, career choice for any um, young people in high school? Uh, well, you know, you better watch out what you look like, um, because if you become a vampire, you're going to look like that forever. So if you have a big zit on your forehead, you know, or lots of pimples on your chin, I think you should wait till that clears up before you become a vampire. Otherwise, forever, you're going to have this big pimple on your nose or something. So... You always got to be careful and maybe what your hair, you know, be careful what your haircut looks like because that doesn't change either. So if you've got like a kinna cut or if you, uh, you know, have some sort of uh, mullet, you know, you might find that that's not in fashion anymore and you have to be stuck with that stink haircut forever. And uh, tell us a little bit about your own um, upbringing, uh, Viago. Uh, um, you, you're more than uh, 100 years old. I was born in 1792, so I'm quite old, and uh, I was born in Europe, which is um, quite far away, and uh, well, I um, I ended up moving out here um, 
in the 1800s, uh, everyone told me that New Zealand was the hot new destination, a really cool place to come, and uh, I was really excited, and I got here, and it was just like in the movie The Piano, just cold and muddy and no shops and really depressing. So uh, I was a bit bummed out when I first got here, but um, I've learned to love it because, you know, now that uh, you know, there's a few more shops and a few more people, uh, it's a lot more fun. Oh, thank you, Viago, for your time uh, that you've given us. Uh, I know you're calling us uh, directly from your um, coffin at the moment, but uh, what we do in the shadows is, is uh, being screened throughout Turanganui Akiwa and uh, Aotearoa Whanui uh, today. Any last words for the uh, people out there listening, Viago? Uh, no, just uh, I'd like to encourage you to go and see the movie because, uh, you know, it's made by that really good-looking guy who made Boy, and uh, it's just as cool and a uh, pretty funny movie. And uh, this weekend it's opening tomorrow on Thursday. It opens, and I think it's uh, really important to support local filmmakers. And so, uh, yeah, I would go and see that. Thank you, Kazi Brow.